brothers, Nina Colagina, Jack Swartz astonish us. But spectacular though they are, their feats alone can hardly be said to prove the existence of an unknown force. If only we could see it somehow. Perhaps we can. Again through Thelma Moss's Kirlian photography and the mysterious phenomenon of the phantom thief. Well, this was a very long and frustrating process, the search for the phantom leaf. And it was only after two years that we finally obtained this. Our procedure evolved so that we would cut a leaf directly from the plant. Then, before the leaf was ever placed on film, part of it was cut. It was then placed in contact with the 4x5 piece of film, covered with a piece of glass, and with a piece of copper backing. An electrode was attached to the stem of the leaf. Suddenly, the phantom. Not only do we see the edge where the leaf has been sharply cut, but continuing beyond where we assume the leaf would show had it not been cut away. This particular leaf has been cut in a pie shape. We can see that the phantom gradually emerges. When the emanations do emerge from where the leaf has been cut, it shows the same jet-like emission that the rest of the leaf reveals. Here is a phantom produced not in our laboratory, but by Mr. Robert Wagner at Cal State Long Beach. He chose an ivy leaf for this portrait, and very brilliantly one can see that the tip of the leaf is clearly visible, even though it has been cut away. Is the energy body of the leaf, which we seem to see in the Keelian photograph, related in some way to the invisible energy with which Nina Colagina manipulates objects, or which the Lee brothers are apparently able to focus. In the electromagnetic spectrum, radio and television waves are transmitted and received with the use of antennas. If what we are looking for is a form of energy, would an antenna of some kind help us to find it? 